Hello, today I'm going to talk about automatically gating cell populations in Flow Satomachi software. To do this, we'll be using the Flow Means plugin for FlowDraw. Flow Means is an R package that uses K means clustering to identify cell populations. The plugin for FlowDraw is a little bit hit and miss, but we'll go through how to use it and some of the caveats about its operation. So, first of all, you will need to uh, install the plugin. So what FlowDraw does is it takes the R package, FlowMeans, loads your data from FlowDraw into R, runs FlowMeans and then exports the results back into FlowDraw for your analysis and uh, visualization. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you got R installed. So go to the internet, install R, and make sure that FlowDraw knows where R is. So to do this, you press the heart icon up here, click on Diagnostics, and then make sure the R path is pointing towards the bin folder of your R folder. So in my case, it's the C drive, program files, R and bin. Next, you go to Workspace, Plugins, Flowdraw Exchange. So FlowDraw Exchange is where all the plugins for FlowDraw are housed. And somewhere down here you'll find FlowMeans. You download it. And then you open the folder. In the folder, you'll find the plugin here and a README which doesn't really contain anything useful. You copy the FlowMeans plugin to the plugin folder of FlowDraw. So in my case, it's C, Program Files, FlowDraw, plugins. Now for your machine it might be somewhere slightly different and Mac it will definitely be different. Um, you need administrator settings if you're on Windows so if you don't you have to talk to your IT to help you to install this. Once it's installed you have to restart FlowDraw. So as I said what FlowDraw does is it loads the R package flow means. So first of all for the, so after downloading the plugin you also need to install flow means into R. So in my case, I go to my Windows icon, go down, that's over my, over my shoulder, click on R, and that opens up this R console. And then I run some commands to install R, so uh, flow means. So flow means is contained in the bioconductor repository. So this is the text, I'll put it in the, the description below, but I type in install packages, BioC Manager, choose my local um, uh, mirror, and then use BioC Manager double colons install FlowMeans. So once FlowMeans is installed in all, you can then use the plugin in FlowDraw. Don't need to save this, I don't need this anymore. So I will load some data. So this is from FlowCap, this is from Flow Repository. This is FlowCap2 data. These are uh, HIV samples. And we have, if we look at the data, it's CD4, CD8 cells, and different cytokine receptors. So one of the first caveat with Flow means is it only works on gated data. So first of all, I would just make a very simple gate. So call it all cells, all cells. I press cells. And I'm going to choose CD4 and CD8 here, just so we can have a look at the data. We can see there's three main populations here. Double negative, CD8 positive, CD4 positive, and a small double positive population. So if I highlight my cell gate, workspace, plugins, flow means, it wants me to save the workspace first, so I will save the workspace. Choose my CD4 and CD8. Three, pop, three cluster sounds about right. I can see three big clusters. And what it does, it then loads into R, does the clustering, and then exports three populations back, which would be called POP0, POP1, and POP2. It doesn't actually create the gates here, which is a little bit annoying, but the easiest way to visualize what it's done is if we use the layout editor, bring across the cells population, Make it bigger for you to be able to see. And drag across 
population zero, which is my net double negative, population one, oh, sorry, population one, which is my CDA positive, and population two, which is CD4 positive. Now, you, I probably should have chosen four clusters, but I know it doesn't work very well because it doesn't really recognize this small population as a cluster. So the plugin for FlowDraw doesn't allow you to change any of the parameters. If you were to do this in R, you could play with the parameters and make a cluster much better. If you want to change this, one of, one of the other problems with the plugin is it doesn't allow you to do it twice to uh, the same gate. So the only way to repeat this clustering with the same more clusters is if you were to move the original cell gate and then do it again. If you want to do it to multiple files, it's fairly simple. You just highlight multiple files, bring them in, highlight the flow means and the cell gate, bring them across, and it'll do all the calculations for all of them at the same time. So the, the final caveat for using uh, flow means is it doesn't always make the the population that doesn't always choose the same clusters in all the different populations. So if, for example, I were to drag across one of the other ones after it's, it's finished loading, this one might work. So if I bring across cells from the second one, and then say we can bring across population one. Population one here is the double negative, but population one up here is the orange, which is the CD8. So it's not ideal in that respect either. But you might be able to get the work, and certainly it works in R proper, so this might be a good introduction to, to, to flow means in R. Right. Thank you. Um, I'm going to make a few more videos on the different plugins and um, flow drawer in the future whilst stuck in the house because of the coronavirus. Um, stay safe, everyone.